Hello everyone and uh, um, so welcome to another office hour. Uh, we'll solve the closing no interview questions um, again. So we're still at intro, but we're almost done. Mm, so we've finished the dark wilderness and now um we're at the eruption of light the first question is is beautiful string i mean the, the name of the problem is kind of funny um okay it says a string um is said to be beautiful if each letter in the string appears at most as many times as the previous letter in the alphabet within the string i.e b occurs no more than a c occurs no more than b etc um Given a string, check whether it's beautiful. Um, all right. Um, okay. Okay, let's uh, let's start the problem. Oops. Mm, I believe this is the tenth one. Um, oh, it's the uh, already the eleventh one. Okay. Let's import NumPy first. And let's run the uh, interactive kernel. First problem is let's copy down the um, the problem. Um, now this is a problem. I think we we need to use ordinance. So uh, uh, we need to use this function, which is order. Uh, ord, okay. Help ord. Return the U Unicode code of, um, for a one point string. So, um, what's the reverse of the word? Let's Google it. Reverse uh, of word in Python. Um, returns a string, for example. Aha, character. Okay, character. Okay. So it's right here. Um, it's character. So let's try it. Um, if it's 65, we get A. Uh, how about 64? We get at. So we have uh, 26 letters. Um, if we do 91, what we will have, huh? It's that, how about 90? Z, okay, so let's do for I in range. 
a hundred uh, print uh, character I and let's run the cell oh it's right here um oh a starts with I see so uh, this is 99 98 97 all right so it's essentially 97 and 97 plus 26 and we do that so we have um, a to Z all right this is exactly what I uh, look for um, all right for the input string so this is our input string um what we would like to do is um i kind of forget i'm not so familiar with string manipulations um swap case title translate replace petition um uh, it's numeric is lower is ask his letter format expand count okay I think that's it. So for example, if we do input string, whoops, count A, we get three. Yes, we did. All right. This this is exactly uh, what we would like to. So first we form the uh, list. We form the list. Um, we form the list of, uh, um, of the character so alphabet equals uh character i for i in uh, range 97 and 97 plus 6 is uh, uh 120 uh, 3. so if we do this we'll see that our alphabet uh is is a string list of uh, from A to Z. Now what we do is for for an S in the alphabet, okay. Uh, what we do want to check is uh, uh, we do want the next one is greater than the previous one. So let's do count, okay. Uh, the count is. Um, input string oops sorry input string count alphabet zero and uh then what we do is for that um for s in the alphabet we check Right now, so uh, we've used the A, and now we need to check B. Um, we do that, so uh, we do count new equals input string uh, S, and if the new count, okay, if count new is greater than, so the beautiful is uh, it, it has to be at the most at the, so the new count which is a, in the next one cannot be uh, greater than the um, the previous one so if it's greater than the previous one we just return false all right and uh, um so we we already got a return all right so we print because uh, we don't have a return. Um, oh, we just do return. We encapsulate, we wrap this in a function. All right. So we copy this. And then we, uh, we indent all these. Um, we return false. Now the, the, for the else, we just continue. We let the count to be replaced by the count new. 
and it is good and the next time we, we check we check the count new and if I mean if uh, uh, we finished this loop and we haven't encounter uh, the return we return true all right so let's print is beautiful string input string whoops let's try a uh, string object is not callable oh my bad it should be count true all right so for example the test one should be true uh test two is false let's try this it's false i mean th this one it's it seems not too bad let, let, let me just try to copy this to see if it's that easy um I need to indent this and let's run some test. Oh, the test passed. So it's pretty straightforward. We just loop around the 26 letters and we just check if um, the new count is less than or equal to the old count. Because if the new count is greater than, strictly greater than the old count, we just return. If we haven't encountered any return, we return the true. And let's submit. Oh, it's correct. Um, not too bad. Okay, so let's try to see Pi3. Um, input string. Oh, this is a, this is a very cool solution. Let's try to see what happens here. Um, let's give it input string new. So let, let's, uh, let's, we, we don't need to encapsulate it into the function. We just want to, uh, observe it okay so and let's try uh what's this I can't do that. Let's let me restart the kernel. Um, it seems my VS code somehow got stuck. I don't know why. Mm. Let me restart the kernel. Oh, I still cannot type here. This is very weird. So let me start, uh, restart VS Code. Um, So VS Code asks us, can you take two minutes to tell us how Pilot's language server is working for you? I think I've encountered somewhat. Um, let me just get rid of the non-interactive one. Um, I've encountered some weird import issues, but uh, I guess they are minor. Um, Okay, um, so we do input string. 
ask to lower case what what does this do string object has no attribute uh so what how did he how did he have this uh in string oh my bad but i don't have string it's uh string is not in my namespace Okay, now I'm getting something weird. So string, it's it's not defined. So let's import string. And string low ask. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's just that. Okay, so we import string. Input string count i for i. Oh, we just count. Okay um oh of course all right so this is this is very straightforward we just we sort the counted string and uh, uh to see if it's 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 the same as uh the sorted one so for example how am i getting ah what's ah is the number of count but uh how about sorted r oh we sort r so i see so now uh we sort this so we rank it from the biggest to the smallest this is indeed a good answer uh let's uh let's continue okay the next one is a find email domain uh, let's copy this. Next one is uh, an email address such as the John Smith example.com is made up of a local part, an at symbol, and then a domain part example.com. The domain name part of an email address may only consist of letters, digits, hyphens, and Thoughts. The local part, however, also allows lots of different special characters. Here you can look at several examples of the correct and incorrect email address. For example, this is okay. Um, fully qualified domain at cosigno at cosigno. The output should be test one example.com test two cosignal.com. You can you can have hyphens. I thought you can only have uh, expected outcome. You you really have that <laughs> address is this. You have two backslashes. Is this even a, a valid string? Oh, you do get you do get that. You could get a space. I see. Yeah, that's right. Space.com. Um, Example org much more on euro at yahoo.com. Very on euro at on oh, this is a hard one. Okay, so you we cannot we cannot simple. Um, so for example, if we do that. Hmm. If we do that, we, we cannot have um, the main part of the may consist of only letters, digit, hyphen, and dots.
I think we need to use R find. So for example, um, address, it doesn't matter how many at, for example, uh, in the test, we have an extra at here. Uh, we need to use R find, right? Um, 28 and let's do address um, 28. Okay, so it should be uh, 29. That's it? I think that's it. So we only need to use R fine. Um, so for example, here we print um, R find that. And then we just do, uh, if we find um, from the right, this S symbol, it, it, I mean, the last S symbol, it must be that. So we do index equals address R find. And then we just return address Oops, index plus one and to the end. That is that two line? Oh my god. Okay, let's see. Let's see. This problem we it only takes two lines, but uh, let's still see. Um, oh, there we go. So address split. If we do split, what happens? So address split. Of course, we we split, we split using uh. Yes, okay. So we split using at. Then we return the uh, the last entry from this list. For example, uh, we just return the last entry. Yeah, this is a good example. This is a good code. We just do that. Okay. So. Um, No, it's good. Yeah, this this is this is very cool. Okay, this problem is build palindrome. Palindrome means uh um from back and forth. Um, you look at the string, you get the same thing. Uh, let's copy down the uh, the problem. Okay. Um. Given a string, find the shortest possible string, which can be achieved by adding characters to the end of the initial string to make it pop, to make it a palindrome. I can already see some 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 tricky parts in it. It it means we cannot simply mirror this string so that it becomes a palindrome. We may find a subset of uh, uh, the string to form this palindrome and uh, um, okay mm -hmm. we, we check how do we check palindrome is we just reverse the string to see if it's the same so for example um, for example we do uh, s1 equal that and S1 For example, this this is a palindrome. So S if we reverse the string. So if we reverse the string, we get the same string. Okay. Um it says the output should be build palindrome. Uh, guaranteed length. It's not too bad. I mean, uh, we only have a few letters. Um, so here's the idea. Here's the idea is, uh, um, so for example, first we build the S1 reverse. Okay. Um, so it equals, we reverse the string. If it's already a palindrome, we just return itself, all right? So um, let's do that. Let's 
let's derive uh, directly write a function. So for example, this st um, reverse is st inverse. And what we want to do is we check so if um, st rev is actually the same string as st, uh, we return the st itself, right? So uh, because it's already a palindrome, if not, okay. If not, um, we continue. Um, right. Um, yet the thing is, um, we need to check. Uh, we need to check um, the palindrome by the following. That is, uh, okay, so now for S in our range of length of ST, we need to do the following. Um, S is, uh, for example, S is zero. Um, and uh, um, and the new st oh i see i see okay so we need to do that for 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 i in range of uh, uh, length st and what we do is first we uh, reverse first we concatenate actually we concatenate we concatenate the um the reverse order okay so we concatenate the reverse of the first i lets us to the end of the string. All right, so um, so st equals st plus so st plus equal um, st i, and we reverse it. All right. Let's try if it's good. So st equals um, that. Why well, can't type in here again? This is really weird. Oh, I think I can type here again. But if I magnifies it, no, it's too good. Um, so for example, the S1 we have is that. So this is empty, I assume. Yep. Um, and then we reverse it, we'll get empty string as well. So um, we do that and we check, um, then we check if, uh, if st is the same as uh, at the st, all right. So this this is the way we do it. If if it is, we return um, the string. If it's not, we make um, we make it bigger. Okay. Um, so st equals that. Let me check the code again. For example, um, if st is this, build. Lindrum st. Oh, um, we encounter no return. Do we need to do plus one? No. Uh, or we may need to do plus one here. Uh, let's print um, build palindrome st. 
none. Um, if we print the function, we get none. It means we don't have any return. So let's read the code again. For I in range the length. So s equal that. Oh, I need to I need to store this temporarily. Okay, so uh, st copy is uh, st. Okay, and uh, what we need to do is we uh, need to use this st copy here. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. It's still now. Uh, let's print st here. Um, for example, right here is we test a b a. Why is a again? So that's a b c and then a and then a b c. Uh, for example, this is uh, we add the last. Uh, letters in it. Oh, dude. Oh, oh. I, I, I can't. I can't do this. Uh, what I mean is, we need to. Uh, we need to start from the second last one. Okay, my bad. So how do we do it? We we start from second last one. Um, we start from the second last one. So the second last one, it should be the second last one for I in range of that. I think, do we have this inverse uh, for I in range? Um, minus one, print. I do we have that? Okay, what if we do fifteen? Still not. Okay. Um I'm guessing what we have to do here is uh what we have to do is um For i in that, okay, it should be uh, it should be the length of let's do uh, the length of st is m, and uh, um. And this becomes m plus one. For i in range m plus one, the first one is uh, zero. For zero, uh, we start with um, the length itself. Yeah, that, that's a maximum one. So the right one should be uh, should be n. So it's not achievable. So we get the second last entry. And then the first one, the first one would be n minus i minus one. Um, why do I get that? So n is not achievable. It means uh, um, we'll get. Uh, so the first entry, the first entry will be. Uh, let me let me print actually this. So it's it's the first one is c. It it's actually not. It's uh, um, the first one actually should be. Uh, sh Wait, what? Um, it's N. 
It's CD, which means I should. Oh, I should use uh, perhaps this one. Okay, so uh, the length is n. So the last entry is n ninety nine. No, it's ninety eight. Okay, so when we we cannot achieve ninety eight, so we have to subtract one more. So, oh, the first one is D. Mm, yes, the first letter we want to append is D. That's right. Okay. The first one is D. That's right. Um, we reverse this, and uh, um, our string is. Is A B C D C so the the biggest string one on reverse is D C B A. Do we get that? And then this printed another D right here. Let's print N as well. For example, if we have a range n plus one, um, we'll get an extra d, which I think is wrong. We only need to do till n. That's right. Um, and add to that, the fifth print is nothing because this is literally uh, nothing in the last iteration, which is. If we plug in range n, for example, the n is five. So i equals in range five. The last line is four, and this it means uh, um, so this is to four. Uh, this is one, two, three. Zero, one, two, three, four. So the four is the last one. This is two, four. I I should change this to minus one, should I? Yes. Okay. So it ranges now. What happens is, st print st copy of that, and let's print st as well. So the first one is this. The second one is C D. Why it has two Ds? So it's adding D here, and it's adding D again. Did I do something wrong? Copy. Oh, I think I think I think it's not st. Okay, I think I should do. <laughs> okay, uh, st new um, equal that um, equals st plus that. I mean, I should do uh, is if ft new equals st return st now let's see what happens Th there we go okay return st new my bad i should return st new um i think that's it so now let me explain i think my mistake is uh because after this i realized okay um i realized it's not, we, we cannot update ST on the way. We have to cache it in some sort of buffer um, in that we can compare the string. For example, this, the string here is ST is here. We first, we copy it. And then, yeah, because we don't do that. We, we don't have to, we don't have to do that. I think, yeah. I think we can just do st 
ST. And that that's it. Let's try if this is good. Yes. Okay. We don't have to copy it. We we just uh, we just directly use ST. And that's this is it. Let's see if it's correct. Um Essentially, we're loop, we're looping through ST to get oh test fast five out of eleven. I like it. The first one even is wrong. ST that I reverse all of them, but in fact, I think I should print. Um, I should print ST new. Yeah, in fact, the second one is already. Is it a palindrum? BC. Short it. Oh, by adding the. To make it a palindrum. Okay, uh, my strategy was totally wrong. To make it a palindrome, uh, we need to. What we need to do is originally I thought we need to mirror this uh, string, but apparently we don't have to. Is because we just loop through that, so we just add uh, letters on the fly. So for example, here, um, um, oh, this, this problem is much complicated than I thought. Um, for example, right here, we only need to add BA uh, is because it forms palindrome. So the, 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 the last letter needs to be um, the first letter. Okay. Okay, we just loop through. Yeah, we, we should just loop through the um, the letter itself. So we append, so we loop through the string itself. Um, we loop through the string itself. And we, every time we add something to the end. Okay, now I get it. Um, so my original, I, I think my original strategy was correct. Um, so for example, um, here in range n, we do i. So if st new, let, let's try this. So the first one is nothing. That's right. The first one is nothing. We get A, B, C, D, C. Um, the second one is we add A. The third one, we add B, A, and we already got something. Okay, then that's good. Let's try if uh, um, uh, this is okay. Okay, the test passed 11 out of 11. Let's submit. Correct. Let's try to see um, the best solution. Best solution is C++. Um, auto, it begins while the string, the ret, uh, string is ret and from st and string rend r begin r end insert iteration next iteration return red for i in range o oh, um in zero length that if okay this is very interesting but I think, um, let's see this Python. Uh, 
uh, while string list is not string list uh, inverse we insert okay hmm I see it's not too bad but uh, I guess my solution is pretty straightforward so let's see um, what's the next task oh we should end it here eruption of light election winners all right Let, let's try to solve it next time so uh, this is it for today.